What's up, how's everyone doing? I got a ton of watch stuff, so if you guys like watches, you're gonna like this video. I went to an estate, and the guy was a watch repairman slash jeweler, and I got a huge box full of just tons and tons of watch stuff. Um, they're all in like little, um, I think they're just like little old cigarette boxes or something. I don't, uh, actually, I have a couple. Mm, they're like I got they're all in like these. I don't know what these are Maybe they're for watch parts. I don't know. Uh, I got like 20 boxes of just all at least 20 all these like watch parts This one was actually decent. This was a a Long jeans Whoops um, tons of these Some of them are falling apart. Just tons of watch parts um So yeah, just tons of watch parts. There's a lot of jewelry just scattered in there. I know I saw this was, uh, this piece was sterling, I think. Yeah, it's sterling. Um, but yeah, I got like just a whole box of just stuff like this. I'll just watch parts, really old stuff. Uh, I'm slowly going through it. Uh, these are a whole bunch of men's watches that I picked out. I took pictures of all of these, so hopefully I'll have all these watches listed by the end of the day. Um, I already have all my money back for everything. There was four uh, 14 karat gold ladies watch cases like um, like this size. Uh, There's two Elgin men's 14 karat gold watch cases like uh, like uh, this size ish. And then there was one Waltham uh, round 14 karat gold case, kind of like kind of like this, I guess. It was kind of big, um, but I scrapped all the all the gold I got. It was like a little over a thousand dollars. I got it was uh, I think like 48 grams or something 48 48 something uh, after you know I get 88% I end up getting like a little over a thousand it's like a thousand eighty or something um, but yeah so I already got all my money back so all these watches look a lot of them are very clean really good condition but like I said the guy was a watch repairman so none of these watches work I don't know what's wrong with them some of the watches that do work there's other things wrong like uh, this one runs, it's missing a second dial. This one, if I shake it, it'll start running, but it, it's missing the little winder thing. Um, so, like I said, everything has its issues, but a lot of these are just in just great shape. Like, look how good, this thing does not work, but I mean, it is brand new. I opened up the inside, the inside is absolutely gorgeous. It's a Waltham eight day clock. Um, I mean, just really, really good condition. Um, like the crystal, the dial, the movement inside, super clean, but doesn't work. Um, here's a whole bunch of, I listed these already, 12 karat gold filled, brand new old stock, um, Chrysler or Kingster watch bands, I forgot how to pronounce it. Um, all old new stock, uh, kinda cool, original price tags on there. So let's get into some watches. Uh, really nice vintage, uh, Wittenauer, Watch has a beautiful black dial with gold letters. I absolutely love that. Really pretty. Uh, we have a Bulova watch. Nice vintage men's watch. Uh, this one runs and then stops. Uh, it's a Benares shock absorber. But, I mean, this watch, I don't know if you could tell. Um, it's like brand new. The movement on this too was just I opened the backs of all these, took pictures of the movements. Uh, the movements on half these watches look brand new, especially this one and this one. I mean, they look like they've never even been touched before. So absolutely beautiful. This one runs and stops. Um, the, like This is a good example. Uh, this is a really nice Longines watch. Uh, original winder, original case, 10 karat gold filled. Uh, case is like brand new condition. Really clean watch. This watch does not run. Uh, it has a 23Z or a 2Z3 movement in there. That's like mint condition. And this, the just the movement alone in this watch, I'm talking no dial, no case, no bands, nothing. Sells for in the $40 range on eBay. So this watch broken, even though it doesn't run, is it's still gonna be $75 to $100 just for this watch not running. And that's, that's sold listings too. Um, we have a nice Bulova self-winding watch. This one I have not heard of, La Marque. 
Uh, this one runs, it's missing a second dial. Uh, this watch is literally like brand new condition, really, really clean, really, really new looking. This one is a Clinton, nice. This one's a Benarus. Uh, this one's a Boliva. This one is a Gruen Very Thin with a diamond dial. There's three diamonds on there. Uh, it's a nice uh, gold filled case on it, uh, but it's missing the winding knob. That will still bring good money. We have a Wittenauer. This one I think ran. Yep, I could hear it. This one runs. And then we got, this one has a really nice uh, band on it. It's actually dated on the back, I think 1946. Oops, sorry. Nineteen forty two. Nineteen forty two. A really old watch, really nice boulevard, really clean. So like I said, I took pictures of all these, so I opened the backs of all the movements. And the movements on a lot of these are just super clean. So even though they don't run, people still buy them for parts and pieces. Um like I said, this one might be close to a hundred dollars, even not working. Um based on the movement and how just mint condition. Not mint, but it's in really, really good shape. Um like this one's like almost mint. This is really clean. This one's like basically mint. This thing's really, really clean. Um, but yeah, so basically this will be fun to see what I get. Hey, I really like watches and I haven't got a lot of watches in a while. So uh, I'm gonna go through the rest of the boxes. Like I say, I got like about 20 boxes of just stuff like this. Um, yeah, a lot of junk, but I found a lot of gold in there that I sold already. So we'll see what happens with this stuff. Thank you for watching.